The International Security Assistance Force was a NATO-led security mission in Afghanistan, established by the United Nations Security Council in December 2001 by Resolution 1386, as envisaged by the Bonn Agreement. Its main purpose was to train the Afghan National Security Forces and assist Afghanistan in rebuilding key government institutions, but was also engaged in the 2001 present war with the Taliban insurgency. ISAF was initially charged with securing Kabul and the surrounding areas from the Taliban, Al-Qaeda and factional warlords, to allow for the establishment of the Afghan Transitional Administration headed by Hamid Karzai. In October 2003, the UN Security Council authorized the expansion of the ISAF mission throughout Afghanistan, and ISAF subsequently expanded the mission in four main stages over the whole of the country. From 2006 to 2011, ISAF had become increasingly involved in more intensive combat operations in southern and eastern Afghanistan. Troop contributors included the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and other NATO member states as well as a number of other countries. The intensity of the combat faced by contributing nations varied greatly, with the United States sustaining the most casualties overall. In early 2010, there were at least 700 military bases inside Afghanistan. About 400 of these were used by American led NATO forces and 300 by ANSF. ISAF ceased combat operations and was disbanded in December 2014, with some troops remaining behind in an advisory role as part of ISAF's successor organization, the Resolute Support Mission. Jurisdiction <inaudible> 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 For almost two years, the ISAF mandate did not go beyond the boundaries of Kabul. According to General Norbert van Haast, such a deployment would require at least 10,000 additional soldiers. The responsibility for security throughout the whole of Afghanistan was to be given to the newly reconstituted Afghan National Army. However, on 13 October 2003, the Security Council voted unanimously to expand the ISAF mission beyond Kabul with Resolution 1510. Shortly thereafter, Canadian Prime Minister Jean Chrétien said that Canadian soldiers nearly half of the entire force at that time would not deploy outside Kabul. On 24 October 2003, the German Bundestag voted to send German troops to the region of Kunduz. Approximately 230 additional soldiers were deployed to that region, marking the first time that ISAF soldiers operated outside of Kabul. After the 2005 Afghan parliamentary election, the Canadian base Camp Julian in Kabul closed, and the remaining Canadian assets were moved to Kandahar as part of Operation Enduring Freedom in preparation for a significant deployment in January, 2006. On 31 July 2006, the NATO-led International Security Assistance Force assumed command of the south of the country, ISAF Stage 3, and by 5 October, also of the east of Afghanistan, ISAF Stage 4. ISAF was mandated by UN Security Council Resolutions 1386, 1413, 1444, 1510, 1563, 1623, 1659, 1707, 1776, and 1917 2010. The last of these extended the mandate of ISAF to 23 March 2011. The mandates given by the different governments to their forces varied from country to country. Some governments wished to take a full part in counterinsurgency operations, some were in Afghanistan for NATO alliance reasons, some were in the country partially because they wished to maintain their relationship with the United States, and some were there for domestic political reasons. This meant that ISAF suffered from a lack of united aims. History The initial ISAF headquarters AISAF was based on 3rd UK Mechanised Division, led at the time by Major General John McColl. This force arrived in December, 2001. Until ISAF expanded beyond Kabul, the force consisted of a roughly division-level headquarters and one brigade covering the capital, the Kabul Multinational Brigade. The brigade was composed of three battle groups, and was in charge of the tactical command of deployed troops. ISAF headquarters served as the operational control center of the mission. Eighteen countries were contributors to the force in February, 2002, and it was expected to grow to 5,000 soldiers. 
Turkey assumed command of ISAF in June, 2002 Major General Hilmi Akin Zorlu. During this period, the number of Turkish troops increased from about 100 to 1,300. In November, 2002, ISAF consisted of 4,650 troops from over 20 countries. Around 1,200 German troops served in the force alongside 250 Dutch soldiers operating as part of a German-led battalion. Turkey relinquished command in February, 2003, and assumed command for a second time in February, 2005. Turkey's area of operations expanded into the rugged west of Afghanistan. The expansion of its zone of activities saw ISAF troops operating in 50% of Afghanistan, double its previous responsibility. On the 10th of February 2003, Lieutenant General Norbert van Haest, on behalf of Germany and the Netherlands, took command of ISAF. His deputy was Brigadier General Bertholi of the Netherlands. The mission HQ was formed from HQI German Dutch Corps, one GNC, including staff from the UK, Italy, Turkey, Norway, and others. In March, 2003, ISAF was composed of 4,700 troops from 28 countries. Service in ISAF by NATO personnel from 1 June 2003, onward earns the right to wear the NATO medal if a service member met a defined set of tour-length requirements. In Kabul on 7 June 2003, a taxi packed with explosives rammed a bus carrying German ISAF personnel, killing four soldiers and wounding 29 others, one Afghan bystander was killed and ten Afghan bystanders were wounded. The 33 German soldiers, after months on duty in Kabul, were en route to the Kabul International Airport for their flight home to Germany. At the time, German soldiers made up more than 40% of ISAF troops. ISAF command originally rotated among different nations every six months. However, there was tremendous difficulty securing new lead nations. To solve the problem, command was turned over indefinitely to NATO on the 11th of August 2003. This marked NATO's first deployment outside Europe or North America. In February, 2002, South Korea sent a medical contingent of 99 soldiers. Between February and July, 2002, Portugal sent a sanitary team and an air team to ISAF. A study by CARE International in the summer of 2003 reported that Kosovo had one peacekeeper to 48 people, East Timor one for every 86, while Afghanistan has just one for every 5,380 people. Stage 1, to the north, completed October 2004 On the 11th of August 2003, NATO took command of ISAF, which consisted of 5,000 troops from more than 30 countries. About 90% of the force was contributed by NATO nations. By far the largest single contingent, 1,950 were Canadian. About 2,000 German troops were involved, and Romania had about 400 troops at the time. The first ISAF rotation under the command of NATO was led by Lieutenant General Getz Glimeroth, Germany, with Canadian Army Major General Andrew Leslie as his deputy. Canada originally had been slated to take over command of ISAF on the 11th of August 2003. The 13th of October 2003, Resolution 1510 passed by the UN opened the way to a wider role for ISAF to support the government of Afghanistan beyond Kabul. In December, 2003, the North Atlantic Council authorized the Supreme Allied Commander, Europe, General James Jones, to initiate the expansion of ISAF by taking over command of the German-led PRT in Kunduz. The other eight PRTs operating in Afghanistan in 2003 remained under the command of Operation Enduring Freedom, the continuing U.S.-led military operation in Afghanistan. On 31 December 2003, the military component of the Kunduz PRT was placed under ISAF command as a pilot project and first step in the expansion of the mission. Six months later, on 28 June 2004, at the summit meeting of the NATO heads of state and government in Istanbul, NATO announced that it would establish four other provincial reconstruction teams in the north of the country, in Mazar-i-Sharif, Maimana, Faizabad and Baglan. After the completion of Stage 1 the ISAF's area of operations then covered about 3,600 square kilometres in the north, and the mission was able to influence security in nine northern provinces of the country. 
As late as November, 2003, the entire ISAF force had only three helicopters. On 9 February 2004, Lieutenant General Rick Hillier of Canada took command, with Major General Werner Court of Germany as deputy. During this time frame, Canada was the largest contributor to the ISAF force, providing 2,000 troops. In May, 2004, Turkey sent three helicopters and 56 flight and maintenance personnel to work in ISAF. In July, 2004, Portugal sent 24 soldiers and one C-130 Hercules cargo plane to assist ISAF. On 7 August 2004, General Jean-Louis Py, commander of Eurocorps, took command of ISAF. Eurocorps contributors deploying to Afghanistan included France, Germany, Spain, Belgium and Luxembourg. Canada reduced its forces to about 800 personnel. In September, 2004, a Spanish battalion of about 800 personnel arrived to provide the ISAF Quick Reaction Force, and an Italian Army battalion of up to 1,000 troops arrived to provide the in-theater Operational Reserve Force. With a force of 100, Georgia became the first Commonwealth of Independent States country to send an operational force to Afghanistan. Stage 1 North was completed in October, 2004, under the Regional Command of Germany. <laughs> Stage 2, to the West, completed September 2005. In February, 2005, General Ethim Erdogi of Turkey took command. On 10 February 2005, NATO announced that ISAF would be expanded into the west of Afghanistan. This process began on 31 May 2006, when ISAF took command of two additional provincial reconstruction teams in the provinces of Herat and Farah, and of a forward support base, a logistic base in Herat. At the beginning of September, two additional ISAF-led PRTs in the west became operational, one in Chagcharan, capital of Ghor province, and one in Qalae Na, capital of Baghdas province. This completed ISAF's expansion into the west. The extended ISAF mission led a total of nine PRTs in the north and the west, providing security assistance in 50% of Afghanistan's territory. As the area of responsibility was increased, ISAF also took command of an increasing number of PRTs, with the aim of improving security and facilitating reconstruction outside the capital. The first nine PRTs and led nations were based at Boglan, Netherlands, then Hungary, in October, 2006, Chagcharan, Lithuania, Farah, U.S., Faizabad, Germany, Herat, Italy, Kunduz, Germany, Mazar-i-Sharif, U.K., then Denmark and Sweden, then Sweden and Finland, Maimana, U.K., then Norway, Qalae Na, Spain. In May, 2005, ISAF Stage 2 took place, doubling the size of the territory for which ISAF was responsible. The new area was the former U.S. Regional Command West consisting of Bajhiz, Farah, Ghor, and Herat provinces. On 5 August 2005, Italian General Mauro del Vecchio assumed command of ISAF. During 2005, Italy commanded four multinational military operations, in Afghanistan, Bosnia, Kosovo and Albania. In September, 2005, ISAF Stage 2 was completed under the regional command of Italy. The alliance also temporarily deployed 2,000 additional troops to Afghanistan to support the 18 September provincial and parliamentary elections. On 27 January 2006, it was announced in the British Parliament that ISAF would replace U.S. Operation Enduring Freedom Troops in Helmand Province. The British 16th Air Assault Brigade became the core of the force in Helmand Province. In February, 2006, the Netherlands expanded its troop contribution with an extra 1,400 soldiers. On the 22nd of May 2006, a British Army WA-64 Apache gunship fired a Hellfire missile to destroy a French armoured vehicle that had been disabled during a firefight with Taliban forces in North Helmand Province the previous day, as it had been determined that attempting to recover the vehicle would have been too dangerous. This was the first time UK. Apaches had opened fire in a hostile theatre and was, after a fashion, the WA-64's first combat kill. Topic. Stage 3, to the south, completed July 2006 
On 8 December 2005, meeting at NATO headquarters in Brussels, the Allied foreign ministers endorsed a plan that paved the way for an expanded ISAF role and presence in Afghanistan. The first element of this plan was the expansion of ISAF to the south in 2006, also known as Stage 3. At the completion of this stage, the ISAF assumed command of the southern region of Afghanistan from U.S.-led coalition forces, expanding its area of operations to cover an additional six provinces, Day Kundi, Helmand, Kandahar, Nimroz, Uruzgan, and Zabul, and taking on command of four additional PRTs. The expanded ISAF led a total of 13 PRTs in the north, west and south, covering some three-quarters of Afghanistan's territory. The number of ISAF forces in the country also increased significantly, from about 10,000 prior to the expansion to about 20,000 after. On 4 May 2006, United Kingdom General David Richards assumed command of the ISAF IX force in Afghanistan. The mission was led by the Allied Rapid Reaction Corps. On 31 July 2006, Stage 3 was completed. The NATO led International Security Assistance Force also assumed command in six provinces of the South. Regional Command South was established at Kandahar. Led by Canada, 8,000 soldiers were positioned there. With the Taliban regrouping, especially in its birthplace of Kandahar province bordering Pakistan, NATO launched its biggest offensive against the guerrillas at the weekend of 2 and 3 September 2006 Operation Medusa. NATO reported that it had killed more than 250 Taliban fighters, but the Taliban stated that NATO casualty estimates were exaggerated. On 7 September 2006, a British soldier was killed and six were wounded when their patrol strayed into an unmarked minefield in Helmand, the major opium poppy growing province west of Kandahar. On 28 September 2006, the North Atlantic Council gave final authorization for the NATO-led International Security Assistance Force NATO -ISAF to expand its area of operations to 14 additional provinces in the east of Afghanistan, boosting NATO's presence and role in the country. With this further expansion, NATO ISAF assisted the government of Afghanistan in providing security throughout the entire country. The expansion saw the NATO ISAF controlling 32,000 troops from 37 countries, although by this stage, the alliance was struggling to find extra troops to hold off a spiraling Taliban-led insurgency in the volatile south. <laughs> Stage 4, ISAF takes responsibility for entire country, completed October 2006. On 5 October 2006, ISAF implemented the final stage of its expansion by taking over command of the international military forces in eastern Afghanistan from the U.S.-led coalition. In addition to expanding the alliance's area of operations, the revised operational plan also paved the way for a greater ISAF role in the country. This includes the deployment of ISAF Operational Mentoring and Liaison Teams OMLTs to Afghan National Army units at various levels of command. 10,000 more coalition troops moved under NATO command, 31,000 ISAF troops were now in Afghanistan and 8,000 U.S. troops continued separate training and counterterrorism activities. On 21 October 2006, the Canadian government expressed frustration over the unwillingness of some European NATO members to deploy troops to help fight mounting Taliban resistance in the south. ISAF after Stage 4, October 2006 to present In November 2006, a study by the Joint Coordinating and Monitoring Board, made up of the Afghan government, its key foreign backers and the UN, suggested that more than 3,700 people died from January to November 2006. The majority of the dead appeared to be insurgents, but it was estimated that 1,000 civilians had been killed that year, along with members of the Afghan National Army, ISAF, and U.S. Operation Enduring Freedom Forces. On 28–29 November 2006, there was a NATO summit at Riga, Latvia. Combat curbs were the most contentious issue at the two-day summit in Latvia, following tension over the reluctance of France, Germany, Spain, and Italy to send troops to southern Afghanistan. 
Countries agreeing to ease the restrictions on deployment against the Taliban insurgency included the Dutch, Romanians, and smaller nations such as Slovenia and Luxembourg. France, Germany, Spain, and Italy agreed to send help to trouble zones outside their areas, but only in emergencies. The summit also saw several countries offer additional troops and training teams. France agreed to send more helicopters and aircraft. NATO commanders said they believed they could move an additional 2,500 troops around the country after some smaller members relaxed their mission conditions. On 15 December 2006, ISAF started a new offensive, Operation Baz Sukha Falcon Summit, against the Taliban in the Panjway Valley in Kandahar Province. On 4 February 2007, U.S. General Dan K. McNeil replaced British General David Richards as commander of ISAF. Analysts reported that he planned to place a heavier emphasis on fighting than on peace deals. Meanwhile, observers and commanders were expecting a new Taliban spring offensive, and NATO commanders asked for more troops. On 6 March 2007, NATO ISAF launched Operation Achilles, an offensive to bring security to northern Helmand and set the conditions for meaningful development that would fundamentally improve the quality of life for Afghans in the area. The operation eventually involved more than 4,500 NATO troops and nearly 1,000 Afghan soldiers in Helmand province, according to the alliance. It focused on improving security in areas where Taliban extremists, narco-traffickers and other elements were trying to destabilize the government of Afghanistan, and on empowering village elders. The overarching purpose was to assist the government in improving its ability to begin reconstruction and economic development in the area. Strategically, the goal was also to enable the government to begin the Kayaki Hydro Energy Project. On 2 June 2008, General David D. McKiernan, U.S. Army, assumed command of ISAF. As of January 2009 its troops numbered around 55,100. There were troops from 26 NATO, 10 partner and 2 non-NATO, non-partner countries. On 6-7 February 2009, UK, forces mounted Operation Diesel Raid in Helmand Province. On 27 April to 19 May 2009, ISAF launched Operations Zafar and Zafar II in the Helmand Province. Operation Zafar lasted one week and Operation Zafar II lasted four days. Both operations were in preparation for Operation Panther's Claw. On 29 May 2009, ISAF launched Operation Mar Lu around the village of Yadashe, 6 kilometres south of Musa Kala in Helmand Province. Operation Mar Lu lasted three days. Mar Lu is Pashto for snake wolf. On 15 June 2009, General Stanley A. McChrystal, U.S. Army, assumed command of NATO forces. On 19 June 2009, ISAF launched Operation Panther's Claw to secure control of various canal and river crossings in Helmand Province and to establish a lasting ISAF presence in an area described by Lt. Col. Richardson as one of the main Taliban strongholds ahead of the 2009 Afghan presidential election. On 2 July 2009, ISAF launched Operation Strike of the Sword or Operation Kanjar in Helmand Province. This operation was the largest U.S. Marine offensive since the Battle of Fallujah, Iraq, Operation Phantom Fury in 2004. Beginning 2010 the Afghanistan Mission Network became the primary information sharing platform for all troops in Afghanistan in support of General McChrystal's counterinsurgency campaign. On 23 June 2010, Lieutenant General Sir Nick Parker, British Army, former Deputy Commander of ISAF, assumed interim command after the resignation of General McChrystal. On 4 July 2010, General David Petraeus, U.S. Army, assumed command of NATO forces. Petraeus was formally approved by the U.S. Senate to replace McChrystal on 30 June 2010. Colombia had planned to deploy around 100 soldiers in spring 2009. These forces were expected to be demining experts. General Freddy Padilla de Leon announced to CBS News that operators of Colombia's Special Forces Brigade were scheduled to be deployed to Afghanistan in either August or September, 2009. However, the Colombians were not listed as part of the force as of June, 2011. Three NATO states announced withdrawal plans beginning in 2010. Canada in 2011, Poland, in 2012, and the United Kingdom in 2010. 
Between 1 July 2014, and August, Regional Command Capital and Regional Command West were re-designated Train Advise and Assist Command Capital and TAAC West. The United States ended combat operations in Afghanistan in December, 2014. Sizable advisory forces would remain to train and mentor Afghan National Security Forces, and NATO will continue operating under the Resolute Support Mission. ISAF Joint Command, in its final deployment provided by Headquarters 18th Airborne Corps, ceased operations ahead of the end of the NATO combat mission on 8 December 2014. Topic. Security and reconstruction From 2006, the insurgency by the Taliban intensified, especially in the southern Pashtun parts of the country, areas that were the Taliban's original power base in the mid-1990s. After ISAF took over command of the South on 31 July 2006, British, Dutch, Canadian and Danish ISAF soldiers in the provinces of Helmand, Uruzgan, and Kandahar came under almost daily attack. British commanders said that the fighting for them was the fiercest since the Korean War, 50 years previously. In an article, BBC reporter Alistair Lighthead, embedded with the British forces, called it, "...deployed to Afghanistan's hell." Because of the security situation in the South, ISAF commanders asked member countries to send more troops. On 19 October, for example, the Dutch government decided to send more troops because of increasing attacks by suspected Taliban on their task force Uruzgan, making it very difficult to complete the reconstruction work that they sought to accomplish. Derogatory alternative acronyms for the ISAF were created by critics, including, I saw Americans fighting. I suck at fighting and in sandals and flip-flops. <inaudible> ISAF and the illegal opium economy Prior to October, 2008, ISAF had only served an indirect role in fighting the illegal opium economy in Afghanistan through shared intelligence with the Afghan government, protection of Afghan poppy crop eradication units and helping in the coordination and the implementation of the country's counter-narcotics policy. For example, Dutch soldiers used military force to protect eradication units that came under attack. Crop eradication often affects the poorest farmers who have no economic alternatives on which to fall back. Without alternatives, these farmers no longer can feed their families, causing anger, frustration, and social protest. Thus, being associated with this counterproductive drug policy, ISAF soldiers on the ground found it difficult to gain the support of the local population. Though problematic for NATO, this indirect role allowed NATO to avoid the opposition of the local population who depended on the poppy fields for their livelihood. In October 2008, NATO altered its position in an effort to curb the financing of insurgency by the Taliban. Drug laboratories and drug traders became the targets, and not the poppy fields themselves. In order to satisfy France, Italy and Germany, the deal involved the participation in an anti-drug campaign only of willing NATO member countries. The campaign was to be short-lived and with the cooperation of the Afghans. On the 10th of October 2008, during a news conference after an informal meeting of NATO defense ministers in Budapest, Hungary, NATO spokesman James Apatheri said Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 with regard to counter narcotics, based on the request of the Afghan government, consistent with the appropriate UN Security Council resolutions, under the existing operational plan, ISAF can act in concert with the Afghans against facilities and facilitators supporting the insurgency, subject to the authorization of respective nations. The idea of a review is, indeed, envisioned for an upcoming meeting. Topic. Military and civilian casualties ISAF military casualties, and the civilian casualties caused by the war and coalition, ISAF friendly fire, became a major political issue, both in Afghanistan and in the troop contributing nations. Increasing civilian casualties threatened the stability of President Hamid Karzai's government. 
Consequently, effective from 2 July 2009, coalition air and ground combat operations were ordered to take steps to minimize Afghan civilian casualties in accordance with a tactical directive issued by General Stanley A. McChrystal, USA, the commander of the International Security Assistance Force in Afghanistan. Another issue over the years has been numerous insider attacks involving Afghan soldiers opening fire on ISAF soldiers. While these diminished, in part due to the planned ending of combat operations on 31 December 2014, they continued to occur, albeit at a lower frequency. On 5 August 2014, a gunman believed to have been an Afghan soldier opened fire on a number of international soldiers, killing a U.S. general, Harold J. Green, and wounding about 15 officers and soldiers, including a German brigadier general and several U.S. soldiers, at a training academy near Kabul. ISAF command structure as of 2011 Throughout the four different regional stages of ISAF the number of Provincial Reconstruction Teams grew. The expansion of ISAF, to November 2006, to all provinces of the country brought the total number of PRTs to 25. The 25th PRT, at Wardak, was established that month and was led by Turkey. Allied Joint Force Command Brunsum, at Brunsum, the Netherlands, was ISAF's superior NATO headquarters. The headquarters of ISAF was located in Kabul. In October 2010, there were six regional commands, each with subordinate task forces and provincial reconstruction teams. The lower strength numbers of the ISAF forces were as 6 October 2008. The numbers also reflected the situation in the country. The north and west were relatively calm, while ISAF and Afghan forces in the south and east came under almost daily attack. In December 2014 the force reportedly numbered 18,636 from 48 states. ISAF HQ at Kabul Composite. Commander ISAF directed three subordinate formations after a 2009 reorganization. The Intermediate Joint Command sometimes reported as ISAF Joint Command has been established to run the tactical battle, on the lines of Multinational Corps Iraq. Lt. Gen. James L. Terry commanded the IJC in 2009. Fifth Corps was being deployed from Germany to provide the IJC headquarters. Commander ISAF also supervised the NATO Training Mission Afghanistan and Special Operations Forces. The New Zealand Special Air Service deployed in 2009 and remained there until March 2012, after previous deployments as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. Regional Command Capital Kabul approximately, strength, 5,420 The command of this region rotated among Turkey, France, and Italy. In November 2009, Turkey was the leading nation in this region. The headquarters was in Kabul. On 31 October 2009 the Turkish Brigadier General Levent Kolik took over command from a French Brigadier General. Most of the French forces in Afghanistan are in RCC. Strength in 2010 was approximately 6,150, including three battalions in Kabul. Nearly all the more than 40 contributors had troops deployed to Kabul. The city was under joint Afghan – coalition control from 2002 but came repeatedly under attacks of insurgent fighters. Kabul International Airport Kaya – Belgium, Hungary, Greece, Hungary from December 2010. In October 2009, the Bulgarian Infantry Company, part of the Bulgarian contingent Herat, Kandahar provided the security of the outer perimeter of Kaya, the so-called Ground Defense Area, GDA. The Bulgarian company was under the command of the Belgium Force Protection Group. Regional Command North approximately, 4,400 HQRC N, Camp Marmel, HQ Mazar-i-Sharif, Balkh Province RCN was led by Germany. On 30 November 2009 the German Brigadier General Frank Leidenberger took over command of RC North. Strength, APPX. 5,750, to be raised. Other forces in RCN include units from the United States of America, Croatia, Norway, Belgium, Sweden, and Hungary at all. The situation within the command deteriorated, and fighting included Kunduz the Kunduz province campaign, as well as Faryab in the northwest. Maneuver battalions, including QRF 
Task Force 47 Special Forces, CEDA, Task Force 47 PRT Mazar-i-Sharif in Balkh Province Sweden and Finland PRT Feyzabad DEU in Badakhshan Province Germany PRT Konduz in Kunduz Province Germany PRT Pol Ekhomri in Boglan Province Hungary PRT Mamana in Faryab Province Norway Regional Command West approximately 2980 HQRC W in Herat, Herat Province, Italy. Commander in May 2010 Brig Gen. Claudio Berto, Ida. Strength APPX 4440. Forward Support Base Herat, Spain. Maneuver Elements Task Force 45, Special Forces Task Force Ciat, Task Force 45. PRT Herat in Herat Province, Italy. Shandand Air Base, Herat Province. PRT Farah in Farah Province, USA. PRT QALAE now in Badghis Province, Spain. Chagcharan Provincial Reconstruction Team, GHOR Province, Lithuania. In June 2005, ISAF established in Chagcharan, the capital of GHOR Province, a Lithuanian PRT in which Danish, US, and Icelandic troops also served. Regional Command South, approximately 35,000. HQRC S at Kandahar Airfield in Kandahar Province. Forward Support Base Kandahar, multinational. Combined Task Force Fury. Combined Task Force Lancer. Combined Task Force 4 to 2, 2012-13. Combined Team Uruzgan. Kandahar PRT in Kandahar City, Canada. Uruzgan PRT in Tarin KOWT, Uruzgan Province, United States, Australia. Zabul PRT in Kualat, Zabul Province, USA, Romania. Regional Command South also included the provinces of Nimruz and Daykundi. Regional Command East, HQ Bagram Airfield, approximately 18,800. Apart from additional maneuver elements, RCE headed 13 Provincial Reconstruction Teams PRT in the eastern and central provinces of Afghanistan. The headquarters was located in Bagram. Other forces in RCE included units from France, Turkey, New Zealand, Poland, and the Czech Republic. The province was a staging ground for costly engagements. Hotspots included Kapisa, Nuristan, and Konar. The commander also directs the U.S. National Force Combined Joint Task Force 1. Lead nation and main contributor was the United States. Strength, APPX. 23,950, to be raised. Task Force White Eagle Polish Fosses Brigade in Ghazni Province. Task Force 49 ISAF -SOF in Ghazni Province Poland. Task Force 50 ISAF -SOF in Ghazni Province, Paktika Province, Poland. Forward Support Base Bagram, USA. PRT KAPISA in Kapisa Province at Fab Nijrab, a combined French, Afghan, American TF Lafayette. PRT Logar in Logar Province, Czech Republic. PRT Sharana in Paktika Province, USA. PRT Coast in Coast Province, USA. PRT Mether Lam in Lagman Province, USA. Bamian Provincial Reconstruction Team, Bamian, Bamian Province, under New Zealand Defence Force Command from 2003 April 2013. PRT Panjshir in Panjshir Province, USA. PRT Jalalabad in Nangarhar Province, USA. PRT Ghazni in Ghazni Province, Poland, USA. PRT ASADABAD in Kuna Province, USA. PRT Parwan, Republic of Korea. PRT Nuristan in Perun, USA. PRT Wardak in Maidan Shar, Turkey. PRT GARDEZ in Paksha Province, USA. Regional Command Southwest, HQ Camp Leatherneck, approximately 27,000. Regional Command Southwest was established in July 2010. It was responsible for security in the Helmand and Nimroz provinces in southwestern Afghanistan. Along with the Afghan government and security forces, seven other nations contributes to RC to bring security to the region. 
Those nations included the United States, the United Kingdom, Georgia, Denmark, Bahrain, and Estonia. Marine Major General Richard P. Mills, the commander of R.C. S.W., made history by being the first U.S. Marine to command a NATO regional command in combat. Task Force Helmand UK forces in central and northeast Helmand province A Danish battle group, operated with British forces in the Green Zone in the central part of Helmand province. The battle group consisted of two mechanized infantry companies, a tank platoon and a flight of helicopters, plus combat support and support units. Task Force Leatherneck US. Marines in northern, southern, and western Helmand Province Helmand Provincial Reconstruction Team in Lashkar Ga, Helmand Province UK, Denmark, Estonia Topic. List of commanders The command of ISAF has rotated between officers of the participating nations. The first American took command in February 2007 and only Americans have commanded ISAF since that time. Topic: Contributing nations. All NATO members have contributed troops to the ISAF as well as some other partner states of the NATO. Topic: NATO nations. Albania on the 28th of July 2010, Albania sent 44 soldiers from the Albanian Special Operations Battalion to engage in combat operations in the province of Kandahar alongside US and British special forces. The contingent was given the name Eagle 1. On the 25th of January 2011, the second rotation consisting of 45 soldiers named Eagle 2 was sent to Afghanistan following the return of the first Eagle 3. Followed. On 16 January 2011, Albania sent its fourth mission codenamed Eagle 4 to Kandahar. However, the main contingent was composed of a company under Italian command in the province of Herat. Albania also had a squad of soldiers under Turkish command in Kabul and a contribution to a joint medical team with the Czech contingent. The last contingent was composed of 222 soldiers of the 8th Regiment. Belgium, the Belgian mission was named Belu ISAF-21. Their main task was to provide security at Kabul International Airport, while detachments Kunduz 16 assisted in the northern PRTs of Kunduz and Mazar-i-Sharif. In September 2008, OGF-4 started, four F-16s with about 140 support personnel deployed. They operated from Kandahar Airport. The Belgian Air Force operated in close cooperation with Dutch F-16 fighter jets already deployed there. Bulgaria, in December 2009, Bulgarian Minister of Defense Nikolay Mladenov said that the Bulgarian contingent in Afghanistan, which was divided between two military bases in Kabul and Kandahar with a total of 602 soldiers, would be consolidated in Kandahar and that it could add an additional 100 troops in Afghanistan in 2010. In July 2011, Bulgaria sent 165 more soldiers bringing the total number to 767. The government declared that it would withdraw its troops in 2014. Canada – Canadian forces were actively engaged in fighting the Taliban in the south and suffered a high proportion of the Allied casualties. In 2006, with the situation in Kandahar province turned increasingly violent, the Canadian forces participated in several operations and battles from the beginning of the war in Afghanistan in 2001. The Royal Canadian Air Force had a major presence in Afghanistan, including three CC-130 Hercules cargo planes, two CP-140 surveillance planes, six CH-147 Chinook transport helicopters, six Mil Mi-8 leased for one year from Skylink Aviation, eight CH-146 Griffin utility helicopters and three CU-170 unmanned aerial vehicles. The Canadian Army increased their presence with main battle tanks, some 10 Leopard C-2 and 20 Leopard 2A6M can, approximately 100 LAV-3 armoured vehicles and six 155mm M777 howitzers. Canada has suffered 158 killed in Afghanistan. In 2011, all Canadian combat forces had withdrawn from Kandahar and relocated the bulk of their forces in Kabul, with detachments in RC North and RC West. 
Canada completed its participation in March 2014. Croatia – Croatian troops were involved in three locations. The Croatian parliament voted on extra troop numbers on 7 December with all parties supporting a troop increase. Parliament also recognized that additional increases in troop numbers might be possible during 2011 and 2012 to help train local army and police units. Maximal number of Croatian soldiers in Afghanistan was about 450. Czech Republic – Czech troops in Afghanistan were involved in four locations. In Czech combat units special forces in peak served 100 to 120 troops. In other non-combat military units, primarily engineering, medical, trainee, advisory or guard, served during all the tours about 4,000 soldiers, medical staff, civilian engineers and other specialists. The largest unit was deployed as PRT Logar composed of 192 troops and 12 civilians in Logar province, in place since 19 March 2008. Four BMP-2 IFVs were part of PRT Logar, however they were only involved in guarding the Shank base due to their weak IED protection. Four Pander-2 were also part of PRT Logar, which were actively used in operations. The Iveco LMV WWS the most commonly used vehicle by the Czech armed forces all over Afghanistan. The field hospital at Kabul airport was deployed in March 2007 and consisted of 81 medical and 30 NBC protection personnel. Eight helicopter pilots and technicians were part of the Operational Mentoring and Liaison Team Also, four weather forecast specialists and two air traffic controllers were part of the Czech contingent deployed to Kabul International Airport. A third unit was sent to Afghanistan at the end of April 2007, and involved 350 members of the Czech Military Police Special Operations Group, who were attached to British forces in the southern Helmand province. A fourth unit was deployed in July 2008 and was composed of 63 troops who were in charge of force protection at Dutch Fob Hadrain in Uruzgan province. The Czechs also donated six Mi-17 and six Mi-24 helicopters to the Afghan National Army, flew three Mi-17 helicopters in Pakitika province and announced the deployment of one C-295 in 2011. Nine Czech soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. Denmark, in Kandahar, Royal Danish Air Force RDAF personnel helped man the Kandahar Airfield Crisis Establishment KAFCE, which ran the airfield. Danish troops were also deployed to other parts of Afghanistan. In northern Afghanistan approximately 20 troops served in the German-led PRT in Faizabad. In western Afghanistan 10 troops served in the Lithuanian-led PRT in Chagcharan. There was also a small contribution to ISAF headquarters in Kabul and to the staffing of Kabul International Airport. There was also a RDAF presence with the NATO AWACS contingent in Mazar-i-Sharif. In Helmand Danish troops were involved in the worst fighting their armed forces have undertaken since the Second Schleswig War of 1864. Denmark has lost 43 soldiers in Afghanistan since 2002. There was a Danish SOF task force operating in Lashkar Gar mentoring ANSF. A 2009 survey has determined that Denmark has by far the highest count of casualties relative to population. Denmark completed its participation in May 2014. Estonia – Most of the Estonian Afghanistan contingent was deployed to PRT Lashkar Ga in Helmand, together with the forces of the United Kingdom and Denmark. Nine Estonian soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. France – French forces deployed in the Sarobi district and to the Kapisa province under the command of the Brigade Lafayette. Six French Dassault Mirage 2000D fighters and two C-135F refueling aircraft were based at Dushanbe Airport in Dushanbe, Tajikistan but relocated to Kandahar on 26 September 2007. 200 Naval, Air Force, and Army Special Forces personnel were withdrawn from southern Afghanistan in early 2007, but around 50 remained to train Afghan forces. On 26 February 2008 it was reported that Paris would deploy troops to the east to free up American soldiers, who would then be able to assist Canadian forces in Kandahar. Shortly afterwards, 700 troops were deployed to reinforce Sarobi and Kapisa. The deployment marked a significant change in French policy in Afghanistan. It was later announced that 100 additional troops and Aerospatiale Gazelle helicopters would be sent to the country. 
France decided to send Eurocopter Tiger attack helicopters to Afghanistan in the second quarter of 2009. In April 2010, French President Nicolas Sarkozy ruled out sending additional troops to Afghanistan in the near future. 88 French troops have been killed in Afghanistan. An additional OMLT of 250 arrived in October 2010, bringing the number of French forces in Afghanistan to 4,000. The remaining troops are to be withdrawn by the end of 2012. Germany, the German Bundeswehr-led regional command north based in Mazar-i-Sharif. The task of the German forces was to assist the Afghan government with security and reconstruction in the four northern provinces of Kunduz, Takar, Baglan and Badakhshan. Germany leads the provincial reconstruction teams in the provinces of Kunduz and Badakhshan. The mandate issued by the Bundestag does not allow the Bundeswehr to take part in combat operations against the Taliban insurgency in the south and east of Afghanistan, other than in exceptional circumstances. However, German troops together with Allied forces of Regional Command North have conducted own combat operations in northern and northeast Afghanistan, inflicting as many as 650 casualties upon insurgents. Germany has agreed to send 850 additional troops in 2010, raising the mandate ceiling to 5,350 troops. 53 German troops and three police officers have been killed in Afghanistan, 156 service members have been wounded in action. In the 2006 German troops controversy, 23 German soldiers were accused of posing with human skulls in Afghanistan. Following the Kunduz airstrike on two captured fuel tankers, which killed over 100 civilians, Germany reclassified the Afghanistan deployment in February 2010 as an armed conflict within the parameters of international law, allowing German forces to act without risk of prosecution under German law. Greece, some Greek troops were stationed at Kabul International Airport, while others manned various hospitals. Hungary, the Hungarian infantry unit was situated in Kabul, however, on 1 October 2006, Hungary requisitioned its forces and took over responsibility from the Dutch for the provincial reconstruction team in the town of Pule Kumari, the capital of Boglan province. Since 1 October 2008, one of the tasks of the Hungarians is to provide security at Kabul International Airport. In 2008 Hungarian special forces deployed to South Afghanistan to special reconnaissance and patrol operations. In 2010 Budapest adds 200 soldiers to the 340 troops it already has in Afghanistan working in reconstruction and training. Six Hungarian soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. Iceland, Icelandic personnel are stationed at ISAF HQ at Kabul International Airport. Italy, Italian troops currently lead Regional Command West and the PRT in Herat Province. Although the mandate issued by the Parliament of Italy does not allow Italian forces to take part in the battle against the Taliban insurgency in the south and east of Afghanistan, other than in exceptional circumstances, the former Italian Minister of Defense Ignazio La Russa has officially stated in July 2008 that such combat activities have indeed taken place over the last year in the Farah area. An Italian contingent including nine helicopters Augusta A129 Mangusta, two C-27 Spartan, one C-130, three AB-212, three CH-47. Additionally, in April 2008, four AMX International AMX reconnaissance jets and three helicopters AB-412, with corresponding 250 personnel also included, were deployed to Kabul in support of ISAF combat operations in the country. In February 2009 the Italian government decided to boost its contingent by 800 to help out with police training and economic development. A thousand more soldiers were sent in Afghanistan in 2010, for 3,800 in total. Italy has suffered 53 casualties in Afghanistan. Latvia, Latvian troops were divided between Kabul and the PRTs in Mazar-i-Sharif and Mamana as of December 2007. A number of special operations forces operate in the rest of South. Three Latvian soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. Lithuania Luxembourg Montenegro, stationed at two bases, Pol e Komri and Marmel. Netherlands, the Netherlands deployed aircraft as part of the European Participating Air Force EPAF in support of ground operations in Afghanistan. The Netherlands deployed further troops and helicopters to Afghanistan in 2006 as part of a new operation in the south. 
Dutch ground and air forces totaled almost 2,000 personnel during 2006, taking part in combat operations alongside British and Canadian forces in the south. The Netherlands announced in December 2007 that it would begin withdrawing its troops, mainly in Uruzgan, in July 2010. A handover to the United States and Australia took place on 1 August 2010, formally ending the Dutch combat phase. The return of vehicles and other equipment was planned to take five more months. Norway, Norwegian troops are divided between Mamana in Faryab province where they lead a provincial reconstruction team, and Mazar-i-Sharif, where they operate alongside Swedish forces. Four Royal Norwegian Air Force F-16s operated from Kabul during 2006. Decisions have been made to reinforce the Norwegian contribution with 150 special forces, an aeromedical detachment of three Bell 412 helicopters and around 60 personnel from 339 Squadron to be based at Camp Mamana for 18 months from 1 April 2008, and 50 troops tasked with training Afghan soldiers. After the attack on the Serena Hotel on 14 January 2008, the decision was made to send a team of military explosives experts to Kabul. Nine Norwegian soldiers have been killed while on duty. Poland, the Polish brigade-level task force White Eagle was responsible for the province of Ghazni. The task force is based in five different locations around the province, FOB Warrior, Kop Karaba, FB Gyro, FB Four Corners and FOB Ghazni. The Polish contingent operated 70 Rizomic wheeled armoured vehicles and 40 Cougars on loan from the United States. Additionally, 4 mil Mi-24 and 4 mil Mi-17 were in use. In December 2009, the Polish Ministry of Defense announced that as of April 2010 it would dispatch additional 60 Rizomics, 5 Mi-17 and 600 troops. The contingent would also include 400 backup troops based in Poland who could be deployed in Afghanistan at short notice. In March 2010, the Polish Mond announced that one battalion of the American 101st Airborne Division would be dispatched to Ghazni and would operate under Polish command. 37 Polish troops have been killed in Afghanistan. Two Polish Special Forces units, TF-49 and TF-50, are responsible for special operations in Ghazni province and partially in Paktika province. Portugal, Portuguese participation in operations in Afghanistan began in February 2002. A military health detachment composed of the three branches of the armed forces remained in Kabul for three months in a British campaign hospital of the ISAF International Security Assistance Force. Followed by a C-130 detachment who acted from Karachi Pakistan, between April and July of that year. In May 2004, Portugal became involved with a C-130 detachment and supporting staff of the Portuguese Air Force, as meteorologists, firefighters, drivers, based at Kabul International Airport Kaya. In August 2005, the Portuguese Air Force took command of Kaya with several of its services for a period of three months, but now without aircraft. Between June and August 2005, the Portuguese Army began the task of ISAF Quick Reaction Force QRF with a light infantry company alternated four commandos companies and two of paratroopers, and a TACP detachment of the Air Force. Officers and sergeants of the three branches have served in the ISAF HQ and other regional structures, more or less discreetly. Between late July 2008 and mid-December, a detachment of the Portuguese Air Force, incorporating a C-130 and support staff in various specialties, like maintenance and force protection, totaling some 40 soldiers, met the new mission from Kabul. In addition to one seriously injured and several light injuries, the Portuguese army have suffered two dead, on 18 November 2005 and on 24 November 2007. The Portuguese forces for 2012 were, a military intelligence cell, an army military advisor team for Afghan Capital Division HQ, two Air Force advisor teams, one for Afghan Air Force Academy and the other for Kabul International Airport, one GNR Gendarmerie Type Police advisor team at National Police Training Center, in Wardak, Army Police and Navy Marines in service with Kabul International Airport Force Protection and a support unit for Portuguese forces with a protection company, two commando platoons and a logistic platoon maintenance, health and communications. Romania, Romanian forces consist of a battalion in Kualat, Zabul province. 
Additionally, a Special Forces Squad 39 personnel operates from Tagab in Kapisa Province, and a training detachment of 47 personnel is in Kabul under the U.S.-led Operation Enduring Freedom. In January 2010, Romania announced plans to send 600 more troops to Afghanistan, boosting its military presence there to more than 1,600 soldiers. Romania suffered 76 casualties in Afghanistan, including 20 killed in action. Slovakia, in 2007, on request of NATO command, Slovak forces were moved from Kabul to operate in southern Afghanistan. Currently there are 165 guard soldiers providing force protection at Kandahar Air Base. 57 personnel of Multirole Engineer Company located in Kandahar Airport. Responsible for demining, building and repairing the airport. 53 soldiers of mechanized infantry are holding outpost in Tarin Kowt, Uruzgan Province. 15 personnel are in OMLT team. Four explosives disposal specialists are part of EOD Paladin S team. Two personnel are part of reconstruction team in Tarim Kowt. Twelve officers are members of commanding staff in HQISAFIJC, RCS, KAF A Paladin. Fifteen personnel are part of the National Support Element NSE in Kandahar Airport. In September 2011, 20 soldiers of 5th Special Forces Regiment were deployed to Afghanistan to help with mentoring and training of Afghan National Police personnel. Slovenia, Slovenian troops including two civilians, CIMIC program perform OMLT mentoring an infantry battalion in Bala Bolak and joint mentoring with Italian Army of a Combat Support Battalion in Herat and PRT tasks, and also placing some commanding positions in Regional Command West and ISAF HQ. Spain, the collective Spanish military contribution to ISAF is known as ASPFOR. Spanish forces are divided between Herat province, where they form a quick reaction company, an instructor's team for Afghan National Army training and a combat search and rescue unit, Kabul, and Bajhiz province, where they lead PRTQALAI NA. The deployment involves engineers, infantry, a transport helicopters unit, and a logistics component. Spanish soldiers are constrained by caveats. The mandate issued by the Spanish parliament does not allow Spanish forces neither to engage Taliban insurgents unless being directly attacked first, nor to move into the south and east of Afghanistan. 102 Spanish soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. Spain has rejected three times to lead the ISAF when its shift to do so has come. Turkey – Turkey's responsibilities included providing security in Kabul it led RC capital, as well as in Wardak province, where it led PRT Maidan Shar. Turkey was once the third largest contingent within the ISAF. Turkey's troops were not engaged in combat operations and Ankara long resisted pressure from Washington to offer more combat troops. In December 2009, Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan said that Turkey has already done what it can do by boosting its contingent of soldiers there to 1,750 from around 700 without being asked. United Kingdom – Troops were deployed in Helmand Province under Operation Herrick. The Royal Air Force and Army Air Corps have a major presence in and around the country, including attack aircraft, C-130 Hercules cargo planes, CH-47 Chinook transport helicopters, Nimrod surveillance planes, Westland Lynx utility helicopters and Westland WA-64 Apache attack helicopters. They were officially there to help train Afghan security forces, facilitate reconstruction, and provide security. In 2006, the situation in the north of Helmand turned increasingly violent, with British troops involved in fierce firefights against the Taliban and anti-coalition militia, particularly in the towns of Sangin, Musa Qala, Kayaki and Nazad. According to the BBC, on 30 November 2009 Gordon Brown announced an increase in British troop numbers, which would bring the total to 10,000 personnel, 500 extra ground troops, and 500 special forces. Additionally more modified Merlin helicopters would be deployed. The deployment would mean British troop levels in the theatre would be the highest since the invasion in 2001. The United Kingdom contributed the most troops to the mission after the United States, and were involved in the fiercest fighting. As a result, 456 personnel were killed fighting in Afghanistan, and over 2,000 wounded. United States, made up more than half of the total number of ISAF troops. Topic. 
Euro-Atlantic Partnership Council (EAPC) nations. Armenia Armenia sent about 40 troops to serve under German command. Additional 86 troops deployed since summer 2011. Austria deployed in Kabul. In 2002, 75 soldiers were temporarily deployed in Kabul and in the year 2005 a contingent of 100 soldiers served in Afghanistan. Azerbaijan, the mission of the armed forces in Afghanistan began on 20 November 2002. 94 Azerbaijani soldiers, two military doctors and two engineering officers are still participating in the peacekeeping mission in Afghanistan. Bosnia and Herzegovina Finland, stationed in four provinces around Mazar-i-Sharif, as all of Finnish troops serve in the PRT Mazar-i-Sharif since early 2009. Two Finnish soldiers have been killed in Afghanistan. Georgia, predominantly tasked with peacekeeping and counterinsurgency operations in the volatile Helmand province, Georgia is the largest non-NATO, as well as largest per capita, contributor to the ISAF. Since 2010, 31 Georgian servicemen have died, all in the Helmen campaign, and 435 wounded, including 35 amputees, as of July 2014. The first Georgian fatality occurred on 5 September 2010, when 28 years old Lieutenant Mukran Shukvani was killed in an sniper attack and Corporal Alexander Gitalendia was seriously wounded. The most recent deaths occurred on 7 June 2013, when a suicide attack using a truck bomb struck a Georgian base in Helmand Province. Previously, on 13 May 2013, three Georgian soldiers, Corporal Alexander Kvitsinadze, Lower Sergeant Z. Via Davitadze and Corporal Vladimir Shinava, were killed after a terrorist incursion and an accompanying suicide attack on the 42nd Battalion Military Base, also in Helmand. Ireland – Ireland provided seven troops on six-month deployments from the Defence Forces, mainly as trainers, medical staff and experts from its bomb disposal units. Macedonia – The Republic of Macedonia began its participation in the NATO-led ISAF operation in August 2002, with the sending of two officers as part of the Turkish contingent. In March 2003, the Army of the Republic of Macedonia increased its contribution in the ISAF mission by sending one section from the composition of the 2nd Infantry Brigade as part of the German contingent. As a result of the successful carrying out of the mission and the high marks received for participation in ISAF, from August 2004 until the end of 2006, the arm participated with one mechanized infantry platoon from the Leopard Unit. At the same time, in August 2005 medical personnel was sent in ISAF as part of the combined medical team in the A3 format Macedonia, Albania, Croatia, which successfully carried out tasks at the Kabul airport, firstly in the composition of the Greek Field Hospital, and later in the composition of the Czech Field Hospital. In June 2006 sent also one mechanized infantry company, part of the 1st Mechanized Infantry Brigade, in the composition of the British contingent in ISAF. In the second rotation of the company for securing the ISAF command, the Republic of Macedonia increased the participation from 90 to 127 participants, and from January 2008 it sent three staff officers in the ISAF command in Kabul. As a support to the efforts for self-sustainability of the Afghanistan National Army ANA, beginning from March 2008, the Republic of Macedonia sent soldiers as part of the Combined Multinational Operational Mentor and Liaison Team OMLT in Mazar-i-Sharif while, beginning from December 2008, in cooperation with the Kingdom of Norway, a Macedonian medical team is included through one surgical team in the organizational structure of the surgical unit of the Norwegian Provincial Reconstruction Team PRT in Mamana, Afghanistan. Switzerland, on 23 February 2008, the Swiss Ministry of Defence announced that its small deployment had concluded two weeks prior. Two officers had worked alongside German troops in the PRT responsible for the northeastern Kunduz province. The stated reason for the withdrawal was the burden placed on other troops for their protection, which had begun to hinder operations. A total of 31 Swiss soldiers were sent to Afghanistan since the beginning of their country's participation in 2003. Sweden – Sweden leads the PRT Mazar-i-Sharif. The main force consists of three mechanized companies operating in Mazar-i-Sharif and also includes helicopters for medical evacuation and an OMLT training Afghan soldiers. Six Swedish soldiers have been killed in action and 20-plus wounded since 2001. 
Over time, the Swedish force consisted of up to 891 troops, 9 CV 9040, 20 Patria XA 203, 60 plus Bay RG 32M, and two Super Puma Medivac helicopters. Ukraine – Mostly military doctors serving in the Lithuanian-led PRT Chagshrin, while one officer works at the ISAF HQ in Kabul. Non-NATO and non-EAPC nations Australia – Australia was one of the largest non-NATO contributors to the war in Afghanistan. Called Operation Slipper, the core of the Australian contingent was based in the southern province of Uruzgan. Australia had joint command of Uruzgan province with the United States combined team Uruzgan. Australia provided the majority of combat forces in Uruzgan. This included an infantry-based battle group known as the Mentoring Task Force, which also includes cavalry, engineer, artillery and other supporting assets. The battle group's main effort are Operational Mentoring and Liaison Teams OMLTs, which are embedded with Afghan National Army units at remote combat outposts and forward operating bases. The OMLTs conduct almost daily patrolling in the Green Zone with the Afghan National Army, and have been involved in the heaviest combat experienced by regular Australian Defence Force members since the Vietnam War. Australia also contributed a 300-strong Special Operations Task Group, code-named Task Force 66, manned by the Special Air Service Regiment, 2nd Commando Regiment and 1st Commando Regiment. Task Force 66 operated in Uruzgan, Helmand, Zabul and other surrounding provinces, and had significant success in both capturing and inflicting large numbers of casualties against the Taliban. Australian Army CH-47D Chinook heavy lift helicopters served in Afghanistan as coalition heavy lift transport helicopters, and the Royal Australian Air Force also committed C-17 Globemaster and C-130 Hercules transport aircraft, AP-3C Orion surveillance aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. Forty Australian soldiers were killed and another 256 have been wounded in action. Bahrain El Salvador Jordan, Jordanian troops were deployed in December 2001 to establish a 50-bed medical facility in Mazar-i-Sharif. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, the hospital provided care for up to 650 local patients a day, and as of February 2006, over 500,000 people had been treated by the Jordanians. Malaysia New Zealand – New Zealand deployed an undisclosed number of NZSAS and a number of regular troops to assist the U.S. The RNZAF deployed C-130 aircraft and Boeing 757 transport aircraft and later in the deployment a quantity of NZLAV armored fighting vehicles were sent to supplement the force. Ten soldiers were killed during the deployment. Mongolia – Mongolia sent troops to back the U.S. surge in the country. Some soldiers protect Camp Eggers while others serve as trainers for the Afghan National Army. Serbia – Serbia sent troops and police to Afghanistan. Singapore – The Singapore Armed Forces deployed close to 500 personnel to Afghanistan since my 2007 as part of Singapore's contributions to multinational stabilization and reconstruction efforts there. In May 2007, a five-man team was sent to central Afghanistan to set up a dental clinic serving local citizens, while training Afghans in dentistry so that they could eventually assume responsibility. Other contributions included a UAV team and a weapons locating radar to provide rocket launch warnings for Camp Holland. South Korea, the first South Korean contingent had been withdrawn by 14 December 2007 due to the expiration of its mandate, despite American calls for its continued presence. The withdrawal had been one of the pledges made to the Taliban captors of 21 South Korean Christian missionaries in July 2007, in return for the hostages' release. The deployment consisted of 60 medics comprising the Dongaiwi unit and 150 military engineers forming the Dawson unit at Bagram Air Base, north of Kabul. They had been sent to Afghanistan in 2002 and 2003 respectively. Afterwards Seoul took only the role of providing medical and vocational training by assisting the United States with only two dozen volunteers working inside Bagram Air Base, north of Kabul. According to an ISAF statement, on 30 June 2008 South Korea returned, operating a small hospital near the airbase in Bagram with military and civilian personnel. 
In December 2009, the South Korean Defense Ministry announced it would send 350 troops in 2010 to protect South Korean civilian engineers working on reconstruction. These troops would not engage in any fighting except to protect the base of the South Korean Provincial Reconstruction Team PRT and escort and protect the activities of the PRT members. The South Korean contingent would be based in Parwan Province, just north of Kabul for 30 months from 1 July 2010. This invoked threats from the Taliban. In a statement emailed to international media, Taliban insurgents said Seoul must be ready to face bad consequences if the troops were deployed. The South Korean government said it made no promises to stay out of Afghanistan when it withdrew its troops in 2007. South Korea redeployed its troops to Afghanistan in July 2010, and was the PRT leading nation in Parwan province. Korea also dispatched four U-60 Black Hawks, which came under tactical control of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Division. Tonga United Arab Emirates, the UAE had 170 soldiers serving in Tarin Kowt province in March 2008. Financing <inaudible> 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 Resolution 1386 of the United Nations Security Council established that the expense of the ISAF operation must be borne by participating states. For this purpose the resolution established a trust fund through which contributions could be channeled to the participating states or operations concerned, and encouraged the participating states to contribute to such a fund. See also. Afghanistan Mission Network Resolute Support Mission British Forces Casualties in Afghanistan since 2001 Canadian Forces Casualties in Afghanistan Coalition Casualties in Afghanistan German Armed Forces Casualties in Afghanistan NATO Logistics in the Afghan War Participants in Operation Enduring Freedom Role of the United Kingdom in the war in Afghanistan 2001 -present. List of ISAF installations in Afghanistan Topic. Notes Topic Further reading Hourswald, David P. and Stephen M. Seidman, eds. NATO in Afghanistan, Fighting Together, Fighting Alone Princeton UP 2014 Maloney, Sean M. Enduring the Freedom, a Rogue Historian in Afghanistan. Dulles, Potomac Books, Inc. 2005, ISBN 1-57488-953-2 Matelier, Alexander. How Afghanistan Has Strengthened NATO, Survival 53.6 127-140. Morelli, Vincent. NATO in Afghanistan, a test of the Transatlantic Alliance Congressional Research Service CERC, Astri. A contradictory mission? NATO from stabilization to combat in Afghanistan, International Peacekeeping 15.2 2008, 214-236. <laughs> External links Official website ISAF YouTube videos ISAF's voice toward the Afghan people English and Dari Video of British ISAF patrol in action Official site of the Allied Joint Force Command Brunsum, Netherlands UK Defence News, Operations in Afghanistan Peace Operations Monitor Afghanistan Belu ISAF 12, the official ISAF site of Belgium and Luxembourg in Dutch and in French the ISAF site of the Czech Ministry of Defense in English. Norwegian ISAF photos 2004-2005. Official Swedish Armed Forces Afghanistan ISAF site in English and in Swedish. Infos about commanders of other nations and APOs at ISAF. <laughs>